What's up guys, it's Matt Skidder coming here live from somewhere in the north for this uh, workbench area. You can see this is where I work. It's my other studio, not editing studio, my building studio, my workbench area. So yeah, it's a working area. Um, and then today I'm going to show you a new, new toy. Here we have an M4. Um, this gun has been used a number of times for Sweet Pea. It is an uh, M4 like looking carbine gun. The torch. Uh, no silence on this one because uh, I took it up. Red dot reflex sight that actually functions. Pretty cool. Uh, batteries have been weak, so it doesn't. And the magazine is removable, but you have to pull out this thingy. Um, yep, it's about 80, 80 to 90 cm, um, maybe even 100. And going up here, you have an M16, very nice M16. Just added a new coat of sexy black to it. Um, yep. The main difference is, is uh, that that difference that fact that sights uh, M16s have a very unique triangle piece right in the front. Can't mistake that for anything else. It also has a scope on it that you can actually look through. It's clear, and that red light is just coming from my camera. The record light. <laughs> Can actually look through that. Um, this is this this button doesn't do anything, but in an actual M16, it's for you to help you clear AI. Um, like if a round gets stuck or something, you push that and help push this round out. The dust cover doesn't open, of course. That would be awesome if it could. You got a nice. This is the button that you press. If on a real M16 you press to release the magazine, it comes out from there. The fire down comes out from there. The shells comes out from there. Um, charging handle, that's the one. Um, in Counter Strike, you see the character use one hand to pull it like that. It says, I tried it, it hurts your finger. It's not realistic to do that. Use two hands. Alright, that's M16. Hope you enjoyed that video.